It is lunchtime in Texas, and you know what that means? That means we go to wherever we got the last email from. Man, I got an email from Panera Bread. I don't usually eat at Panera Bread because it sounds healthy. I mean, it looks healthy. They got all this soup. I don't eat soup. I have a no soup policy. They've got all these like fancy sandwiches and stuff. And you know me, I'm just like a burger guy. But they sent me an email that said they have a smoky buffalo chicken melt on a toasted bagel. And it's brand new. And I thought, man, a buffalo chicken melt. But I'm like, I don't know, man. That place is too healthy for me. But then I looked at the look further down the email. It's 830 calories. And I thought, I could do that. 830 calories? I'm in. Plus 150 for the chips. So we're per near at 1,000 calories. That sounds like a good lunch. I'm going to get to it right after this. Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. That's right, baby, Panera Bread. Panera Bread isn't as healthy as it sounds. 830 calories for a sandwich. That sounds like a good idea to me. Like I said earlier, I got this email, and as you see, I'm back in my truck today. I have a temporary solution to it, so I get to drive it a little bit more now. I like that. I like driving my truck. But yeah, so I got this email and uh, a smoky buffalo chicken melt on a toasted bagel. Man, I don't know about you, but that sounds good. That sounds right up my alley. Now I got this thing with their chips. I order chips, they gave me two bags. I like that. Two bags of chips. Maybe I ordered two bags of chips. Oh man, the receipt says two chips. Oops. Here's the deal. They're a small bag. Oh, they're good. Oh, they're kettle chips. Oh yeah, look at that. Kettle cooked potato crisp or chips. Oh, they're good. They're like that. That you know that kettle brand. They're like super crunchy, man. Super crunchy, super salty. I like it. Man, I'm glad I got two though. A little bitty old bag. I must make those little bitty bags for like elementary kids or something. I don't know anybody that eats that few chips. All right, to the sandwich. What we all come to see. I'm glad. This thing is huge, man. Look at this. It is massive. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh my god, wait till you see this. Look at the size of this thing. Holy smokes! Oh no! Mm. Oh, I just dropped some chicken. I threw it in my mouth. It was actually really good. Good news, I got it on my pants. And I just got them out of the dressers, which means they have to go back in the laundry. So here's what we got. We have... This big giant sand. Oh my god. Mm. This thing is really hard to hold. It's cut on both sides. See how it is? See how this side's like drooping? Anyway, this thing has um, smoked pulled chicken, American cheese, red onion, a spicy buffalo sauce, and it's on a toasted French baguette. Now, you said you could add bacon to this thing, which I really wanted to do, but it's another buck fifty, and it's already a $10 sandwich, so. I thought I'd just try it how it is. I tell you what, though, it's huge. That's for sure. We're just gonna eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh my god, that baguette is good. Baguettes are a little harder to eat because the bread it's got a real, it's got a hard pull to it. You gotta break that crust. But this is, oh man, I got a lot of bread in that bite. Let's get to a chicken bite. I'm a good chicken bite, man. This thing's got a bunch of chicken on. Look at that. I mean, just hanging off. That is really good. I mean, the chicken, the chicken's really, uh, it, it does taste a little smoky. It's kind of shredded. See how shredded up and fine it is? I'm going to, I'm going to get this bite. This thing's dripping off. I'm going to, I'm just going to eat it before it falls. Damn it. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Back to the sandwich. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. When I was a kid, we go to the little one down by SMU, and I would just get a baguette, and I would just eat this baguette with strawberry jelly and butter. I love baguettes. I still love them to this day. I would love to sit around. Matter of fact, I need to figure out where to buy one. I'm gonna buy one and eat one for dinner. That sounds like a good idea, but this is awesome. So I'm a big fan of baguettes. I love that hard pull when you have to really chew through that crust. The chicken is really good. The buffalo sauce is good. I wish there was a little more buffalo sauce. There is a good amount. 
it's a little spicy. It's not that spicy. Panera bread, man. They're not going to give you super spicy stuff, right? And there's American cheese on here. I like American cheese. And the red onions. I'm a down with the red onions. This thing's actually pretty good, man. They have a kind of a pizza one with like mozzarella and pepperoni or something on it. But I was going to get them both. But like I said, they're 10 bucks. I didn't want to spend $20 at lunch. It's not the best buffalo chicken sandwich I've had. But it's definitely better than average. So hats off to Panera Bread. I love the bread. Now, the bread is the bomb. The bread's worth the whole thing. The chicken, the sandwich itself, eh, it's all right. But the bread, dude, I love the bread. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll come back and get that uh, Italian one with the mozzarella and pepperoni or whatever. I don't even know what's on it. <laughs> but yeah, maybe maybe, maybe I'll do that. There you go. Hey, thanks for the Pereira bread for coming out with a grilled baguette sandwich. And, uh, um... There you go, and thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hit that next video if you want to watch the next one, and until next time, keep trying Panera Bread's new menu item, and we'll see you.